Hey there, my people. What's good? It's your boy Alejo. You already know what time it is. This episode is very close to home. This one is for all my brothers and sisters from the Democratic Republic of Congo. This is that Afro Congo beat song. And um, I just wanted to do something that represents my people. So I hope that y'all enjoy this one. It's uh, emotional. It's sweet. It's sentimental it's a whole lot of vibes to it and i really had a fun time making this so i hope that y'all take some uh, knowledge from this you learn something that you can apply to your own beat making and with that said let's waste no more time and uh and hop straight into it so this is a pretty easy beat to be honest uh first thing that i did and i spent quite a bit of time on was just working on the main melody, which is an acoustic guitar that I, uh, that I found, I think it's made just using samples. And so what I did, I, I did a lot of like, uh, things to it. I sent it to a send, uh, for reverb and a delay. So what I'll do is I'll play it on its own and without any effects such as the delay, the sample delay or anything. So let's hear it in its raw form. And this is what it sounds like. Let me take the EQ off as well and the compressor. All right. And this is the melody that I wrote. It looks like this. So let's go ahead and play that. When you initially pull in this guitar, uh, this classical guitar sound, the volume is going to be pretty high up there. And so for the actual velocity of these notes, and that impacts how it sounds severely. So you want to lower it after just to give it that human touch. What I like to do is after I program the melody, just to give you guys an idea, it would initially sound something like this so let me play that and um and then i'll revert back to what i have it and you'll see it's a significant change as for me it sounds good but it lacks character it lacks humanity and so what i did is i'll go back but I'll show you what I did, but I won't apply it, but the concept is the same. I highlight all the notes and I go on function, MIDI, and then random velocity. And I believe I brought it down to about maybe like a maximum of like 45 all the way to like maybe 25. And what this really means is that in between 25 and a threshold of 45 the velocity will be randomized it's going to humanize it and make it feel like it's being played by an actual human being and so because when a human being plays a guitar they hit the notes at different velocities and strength uh, the strings at different strength and velocity so that gives it that humanity that we can all relate to so I did something similar to that and it's something you feel to be honest. So let me revert back to it and play it. You'll notice the notes have different shades of this color. Really what that indicates is the different uh, velocities. So like for example, 49, 55, 49, 50. So it, it seems that I had a threshold of 50. And so, all right, let me play that again. And you should notice a bit of a difference. nice and then of course it's kind of low now so i'll bring in the effects i started off with a compressor and so i'll play it and then you'll be hearing the compressor come in and then the eq and then delay and then 
the send effects, which includes a reverb and then a um, another delay. So, okay, let's play it on its own. All right, so the next thing that I worked on was this uh, clav, this clavinet sound. I think it's just called a clav. Again, uh, most of this beat consists of me working on the effects for these instrumentals to give them the feeling that I was searching for. So I'm gonna play it raw and then uh, bring in the effects one at a time. Here we go. All right, so you can see that made a significant change. So let's combine that and the guitar and the two together sounds like this. And then the next thing I added was like a low synth. I didn't do anything to it. It came as is, so I'll just play it as it is. So I'll just play it as it is, and it sounds like this. And then once we combine it, with the other sounds, it sounds like this. Nice. And then I added a bass. And the bass on its own sounds like this. Awesome. So the bass, the low synth, and the guitar and the clav together sounds like this.
Yes, yeah, that's, that's beautiful. And then the next thing I added, I believe was some arcade. What this? I don't remember what this is. Oh, I do. Let me play this. All right, this has to be heard in context with everything. So I'll play that. All right. So the next thing that I did is I added more arcade and I'll just uh, bring them in one at a time. And so we can keep this moving. And so it sounds like this. Actually, let me play them together. I'll just play them both at the same time. All right, so that together with all the other sounds sound like this. And then the next thing that I did is I added the drums and that's pretty much the whole beat. And so let me add the drums and I'll play the melodies and then bring in the drums. And that is the entire beat. And then I um, had an artist record some vocals. Uh, it sounds really nice in Swahili. And so I might play that part too. But as far as the song goes and the beat, this is it. Uh, so let me play it from beginning. I hope you all enjoyed this. All right. So thank you to all my Congolese subscribers and everybody else, of course. I'm super excited about this one. Um, afro congo to the world um i look forward to the next video uh in the meantime enjoy this don't forget to subscribe give me a coffee if you want to and tell all your friends about it i love you guys until next time i'm out